In less than two and a half months, state-run liquor stores will be closed for good. Initiative 1183 takes effect June 1st, allowing retail stores with at least 10,000 square feet to sell hard liquor. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us live tonight in the studio. And Aaron, a lot of grocery stores and retail stores have already applied, right? If you look only at Spokane and Spokane Valley, 72 stores have already applied for the license to sell spirits or hard alcohol, if you will. Five of those have already been approved, with many just a few steps behind. From gas to ices to chips and salsa. We're always getting new customers, too. It's, it's just neat about this store. The Grocery Brothers Texaco in Northeast Spokane has it all, even a meat market. And soon they'll have one more amenity for their loyal customers. It'll be all new to us. Grocery Brothers is one of 56 retail stores in Spokane that applied for a license to sell spirits or hard alcohol. I mean, all these tables and everything's going out there. And this is going to be shelves and all boxed. I don't know if you want to call it boxed in, but... Meeting the 10,000 square foot of retail space requirement, the gas station grocery store applied for its license as soon as possible, knowing full well they had to get on board or miss out on new business. And with a new car wash going in out back, every bit helps. June 1st will mark the first day private retailers open their cash drawers to hard liquor sales. In Spokane and Spokane Valley, five former state-run stores have applied for the license. And as opening day draws closer, many more are expected to join that list. Also on the application list, major grocery stores like Safeway, Walgreens, and Yolks. Until then, places like Grocery Brothers are getting ready to make some space. We just got to get everything finished and then they come in and do the final approval. and. Then we're good to go. To add hard liquor to their list of conveniences. Certain retail stores under 10,000 square feet will be considered for the spirits license depending on location. Liquor stores cannot be within 500 feet of a school and only stores without a current beer and wine license must be approved by local government. Reporting in the studio, Aaron Lunick, XY4 HD News.